Hello and welcome to Check It Out with Rich. Uh, Beach Lane reached out to me a couple weeks ago and asked me if, if I wanted to review any more of their products. So I said, sure, why not? Um, they, I got this in the mail the other day. I got another one too. We'll do a video on it later. But I got this in the mail the other day and I'm really intrigued. Uh, let's open it up and see what we have here. I think it's going to be a box in a box. Sometimes I amaze myself, you know? Okay, this is the Beach Lane Pickup Tailgate Ladder. All right, let's get the box open and uh, see what all's in here. Um, my friend's nephew always... Uh, Jacks me off about having a pappy step to get into the truck. And before I had a cap on, and he called it the pappy cap. Well, I like my pappy cap, and I really like my pappy step, so I'm hoping this can get the pappy step out of the back of the pappy truck. Okay, more trash. From what I could see right now, it's um, it's pretty sturdy. It's not super heavy steel, but it's not bad. It's not super thin. Yeah, it's not bad. It even has uh, some tre tread guard here, aluminum. Okay, let's see what all came in the box. Okay, we have some uh, additional brackets. We have a strap. A bag of uh, screws and bolts. And this looks like a mounting plate. And we also have directions. So let's look at the directions here real quick. See if we can figure out what's what. All right, looks pretty uh, self-explanatory, but we'll uh, reference back to it. Okay, as per the directions, this plate will go onto here, and it says one inch from the top of the tailgate, which we will have to go more, and a half inch in from the side. But what I want to check before I do that, I want to close the tailgate and see where we're at here. Now it looks like even if it's in further, we should be okay because these brackets will stick out farther. So let me get the tailgate closed and see where we're, where we're at here. All right, so I just got a piece of chalk. I'm just going to draw a quick line here. It looks like we have plenty of room. All right, yeah, we got a little line there. So, we should be all right. I think as long as we stay up on it, we should be good. Um, I'm not sure about these two scroll, screws, so let's see how it uh, works out. All right, so I opened up the uh, accessory pack, and one thing I'm concerned with is they have which looks like maybe a, a size 10 self-drilling screw, and I'm going to use my own screws. I'm going to bump it up to a uh, quarter inch. Just something with a little more uh, bite to it. I could use these and then at a later date just go ahead and if they come loose just go ahead and put bigger ones in. But I think I'm going to just go to the quarter inch right now. Yeah, so I'm going to jack up to the uh, quarter inch. You can see the difference in them. But to do that, I'm going to have to uh, draw out whatever holes I'm going to use here. So I'm going to get those holes marked. And then I'll draw them out, and then we'll come back and uh, get it mounted. Okay, I got the uh, holes drilled out on the plate to a quarter inch. I actually used this seam here as a straight edge, lined it up. I am at the edge of the plate on these two sides. So I'm, I'm going to pre-drill, even though they're self-drilling screws.
Okay, she didn't move, that's good. Let's get another one in, then we'll draw all the holes out. Okay, when I drilled these ones out, I hit something down for that flexed a little bit. I don't know if it's my uh, latch here, so I'm gonna use a little smaller screw on it than this one. Yeah, as you can see, I went a little uh, shorter on the uh, screw. All right, so that is in. All right, the uh, directions are a little vague. I'll go into that at the end of the uh, video. So what we're gonna do, I'm thinking that if I put these uh, quick releases up on top, we would be able to remove the ladder if we had to. So that's just what I'm thinking. I don't know if it's correct or not. Um, I've never watched a video on this. Maybe I'll watch a couple videos and uh, see what other people did. So that's that, which that would make sense. If you want to take it off, wham, bam, it's off. Okay, so after look at the directions a little closer, um, Becky noticed. <laughs> that it does say to put the D-rings up here. So we're gonna take this back apart, put the D-rings in, and then um, you would think it would be adjustable for height. So what we're gonna to have to do to adjust the height, we're gonna to have to pull to a level area and then set the ladder to the right height. So let's get this back apart. Thanks, Beck. Okay, so I got the uh, quick release pins back in. I did put the washers in. I figured that would be seamless, especially if you're taking it off. You're going to lose these for sure. So let's go ahead and get the uh, legs hooked up to here. All right, so I'm going to put these into here and um, just set it at a height. I'm not going to tighten the bolts down. We'll do that once we get to a level area. So let me get these in. Make sure you get them the right way. And you will be using the bolts and nut on this. And I'm just going to snug them down so the uh, nuts don't fall off. That's one. Let's get the other one. Make sure when you're putting these, uh, these on that you have your uh, tread on the outside, you want the bent one facing towards the front of the uh, truck. Okay, I went with the first hole. Okay, so got that done. And then these are just gonna go right in here and I am going to use the uh, washers on this. Yeah, as you can see, there's not much thread sticking out. So let's get that one tightened up. You don't want to go too much. But you want to go enough to secure it. So Okay, that's, that's about it. Now, I have this extended as far as it'll go. Uh, it is rubbing a little bit on this wire, which is gonna matter, because it's not like it's gonna be down all the time. You're gonna be up and down constantly. So it should be all right. I can go and put a piece of rubber on here or something just to protect it. But uh, I'm thinking uh, we need to shorten it up a little bit. I'll tell you what. It goes straight from uh, winter to summer. We got some rain, it stopped, and it is muggy. Okay, we shortened it up a little bit. I'm going to, later on, I'll go to someplace flat and adjust this to exactly where it needs to be. But pretty much what the theory is, these should be pretty much level, and then the ladder should be at a small angle coming up to the uh, tailgate. So let's try it out and see how it works. Oh. 
That is nice. I like that. That's better than a pappy step. <laughs> yeah, I I do got. Um, I was thinking when when I when I requested this that it's going to take away my work area. I, I use this as a workbench a lot, but it's not because I could just put the ladder on. All right, so let's uh, let's get this over, and then now to secure it, they have a strap, and then on the ends of the strap, it's turned over, it's stitched, and they have uh, some holes going through it. This is probably the only thing I don't like about it. Um, just for the fact that you're gonna have these straps attached to your bed, but I, I can't I can't think of any other way to secure it. Um, so this is it is pretty much what it is. So let me get this uh, these screw down here. We will use their screws for that. All right, so let's get this uh, secured down. We can wrap this video up and get out of the sweltering heat on May 5th. Okay. That is good. Okay, final thoughts. Um, I'd recommend it. I like it. Um, I can get rid of my pappy step. But the only problem with that is I use the pappy step to sit down a lot if I'm doing something close to the ground. So I may still keep it in a truck or maybe uh, engineers can come up with something that you can pull off and use as a uh, seat also. Okay, um, what I like about it, it's compact. It was easy to install. Um, seems to be pretty well made. I went with the strap. When I mounted the strap, I put it into the indents here so it's not sticking up so much. So hopefully uh, it won't interfere with my workbench. It's easy to operate. And that's it. You can use the side of the bed as a handhold, help you get up in the truck. It seems very sturdy. Um, I didn't feel it giving at all, which is good. Okay, now for my dislikes. Um, the directions could have been a little bit better. Um, the pictures here don't show in detail where the uh, retaining rings go. So they could improve on this a little bit. Um, the other thing is the bolts here. Um, they should be a little bit longer. I mean, I barely got any thread on this. So I'm going to change these bolts out. I'm going to drill it out to quarter inch bolts. Uh, run to Lowe's, get some stainless, uh, probably an um, inch and a half inch and three quarter and um, the other issue is metric um, the self tapping screws that I used for here were eight millimeter I in my tool bag I don't I don't carry metric so I had to get a, an adapter with an eight millimeter socket to go onto my impact gun but it's that's, that's a minor thing um, another dislike I don't have one yeah, I really can't think of anything it's uh, really bad about. It. Just the screws and the directions. Um, it sells on Amazon for, I just looked it up, for uh, $55.99, which I don't think is that bad for what, for what you're getting. Um, it's well made. And uh, if you don't like it, it's Amazon, man. You can ship it right back. So, okay. So, hope this uh, helps somebody out, especially getting into the back of their truck. And uh, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you all next time. Bye.